Hello friends, my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the something is called property editor classes in a Spring framework. So let me try to explain this concept through an example. So I have created a class, uh, sorry, I have created a project uh, like MVC init binder web app and uh, in this project uh, I have copied all files from my previous project. Uh, I hope you would have watched my previous video tutorial. Let me run this project and let me show you the output. So here is the student registration form and here you need to enter a student name, then gender, and need to select uh, technologies and city you need to specify the phone number and finally we are going to enter date of joining in the form of mm uh, suppose month is 10 and day is 20 and this is 2015 and if you user clicks on the register button then everything is getting binded automatically right so basically data binding for the simple data type like your properties is type of a string or long or simple wrapper classes uh, if a property is a wrapper class type then that data binding happens automatically by the spring framework but in some scenarios your data type is complex and you want a data type uh, should bind in the specific format like here you can see the date of joining doj here we are entering date, uh, date in the form of MMDD YYYY format and that gets automatically binded. But if, what if, if I want data type for I mean format of uh, date uh, in some other format like, like here if I try to enter date in the form of uh, first I would like to enter the year and hyphen then I would like to enter month and day and if you click over here on registration form then this is showing a date conversion is getting failed right but still I would like to enter date in this form then how we can achieve this requirement so yeah so to achieve it here we have written a controller so in this controller basically we have to write a method uh, method with uh, any name uh, and return type would be void so here I'm gonna write any binder and this method has to take a parameter is called wave data binder so wave data binder and let's say this local variable name is binder and here you can make and this method uh, you can take method name with your own choice but uh, method argument you will have to pass as wave data binder and this method has to annotate with uh, wave binder something like this so data any init binder you will have to annotate this method by init binder and here we are going to make use of this binder object so first of all we are going to make use of our class is called simple date format right so basically simple date format we use to format a date into a specific format right now here we will have to specify the pattern and pattern i'm going to specify as yyy year first of all year then mm month and then day right we want to supply date in this format now now we can make use of the binder object now we will have to call add custom add mm. sorry add custom register here so here we'll have to supply 
uh, you will have to call register custom editor and first of all you need to pass the class name I mean what kind of data you want uh, 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 for automatic binding right so that class basically uh, we want the I mean init binder I mean property editor for date data right so we will have to pass the date and second is the property editor object so as second constructor says that first you need to pass the class what kind of data binder you want for the, the uh, data type of the uh, property so the, here you will have to pass the class as date dot class and here we need to the pass the field so we want this property editor for the uh, d oj right date of joining and here finally we will have to pass the property editor so let's use this uh, method and here we are going to pass date dot class and field name we have a doj so this field name you need to pass it over here and property editor you need to pass so here i'm going to pass new uh, custom custom date editor again you have a two parameters so I'm going to use this parameter this parameters is asking you to supply the date object of date format and second is the boolean allow empty right so date format object we are passing and here either you can pass the uh, false or true if you pass the false then if you pass the false then from this view you cannot pass the empty object but if you pass uh, true then this is allowing you to pass empty object as well so let me show you sorry this would be not a stream but uh, boolean then and we are done so as we have a specify value as true so we can pass empty object as well so let me redeploy this project again and here now i'm going to call name education gender as mail and let's specify some phone number and now year i'm going to specify as year first then hyphen month then date and if you try to submit then this is happily submitted right or now this binding happens successfully now on ui we need to change uh, this format so that the user will not get confused so now four times y then hyphen M M and then you can pass D T. Now user has to enter this value in this format. Now if you go and refresh and let's try to enter John mail. Let's say I want it. Specify some fake phone number and here if you do not enter any value and if you click over here then this is happily accepted because uh, in controller while defining the init binder and while using the custom date editor we have passed the value as true but if you pass false over here and after saving this i hope how, how deploy will be taken yeah that's taken now if you try to register user uh, here if you enter name gender now let's enter phone number and if you do not enter any value in the date and if you click register then see this binding is not happening successfully because uh, parsing got failed right because we have given empty will not be allowed so that's the reason so let's uh, make it as true again and after doing this modification modification I believe this will take the hot deploy and now we have the fill every film every field except date and if you click or register then this will take happily this will so 
so if you want allow user to enter the empty string in the date field then make it true value over here else you can make the false right so that's all i have in this video guys so here we have seen i mean property editor for the uh, uh, date right uh, here you can see if you go to the spring official website then you can see the custom data editor for the date right but a spring framework provides out of box classes uh, out of box classes for the different property editors for the different data type right so like you can see the list of classes over here so here i have given you the one of the example for the custom data editor but um, you can uh, if you have a different data type like if you want the some a specific format for the number then you can go for the custom data uh, custom number editor if you have a files file system then you can go for the file editor and there are different uh, uh, property editors are uh, available here and you can take advantage of these property editors classes but sometimes if you are really looking for the very specific requirement and you are not able to fulfill your requirement with this property editor classes then a spring gives you flexibility to create your own custom editor right so that concept we'll see in the next video tutorial and that's all i have in this video tutorial guys this code i am going to put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description so thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video tutorial